number one. I say number one. Um, I'm actually I'm doing a, a little group of of uh, videos about the same thing. Uh, a few days ago, uh, my uh, good friend, my Louisiana honeybee, she uh, texted me, "What's your book about?" I knew. I, it's taking out of context and saying that, but this this book is it's there's a lot to say, so I wanted to say it. I don't want to type a text because text is tedious. So I um, made a video the other day, and it was too long for YouTube. 21 minutes long. It was too long for YouTube. And, like, because of the file size, it uh, didn't record audio or something. I think that's why. So it wouldn't even upload to Facebook. <laughs> I mean, the video did, but the audio didn't. And I even looked at it later, and there's no audio. So this is um, the first one, our first video. I'm going to do several because I'm going to do shorter so I can actually upload them this time. Um, my series, because you, you asked about a book. My, my book, my science fiction novel, is part of a series. The series is called Globic Tales. And the reason why I call it Globic Tales is because the world is called Glob, G-L-O-B. I came up with this uh, with Globic with Globic Tales uh, 25, 27 years ago. I don't, I'm not sure. 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, I had the same uh, English teacher. And she had something, it was kind of a standing assignment. On Monday, she would write on the board a topic. And by Friday, two pages were due, front and back, one sheet of paper. You know, just random stuff like, what's my favorite TV show? Or, I stepped on a crab, dot, dot, dot. And you just, you would just, it was... Just kind of practice creative writing and just keep your writing going. It wasn't about a particular subject. It wasn't like research it or whatever. But every week there was this uh, weekly report. And you could either use your topic or you could come up with your own topic. But it had to be two pages. And it was like it was like a pass-fail. She read them all and she read, read into grammar and spelling and stuff. But it was like you got credit or you didn't. I mean it wasn't like... A, B, or C. Um, and me being creative like I was, I started my Globic Tales then. Um, there are some other stories that did short stories. But see, with Globic Tales, um, I, a little bit here, a little bit there, it wasn't exactly sequential. But the first, the uh, my protagonist's name was Lance Hale. And, um, which is, I, I'm looking back, it's kind of a cheesy name because... It's like a porn star name, Lance Hill. Lance. But I, I actually, I met somebody named Lance later in life. Um, and about 10 years ago, maybe more than that, I changed the name of my protagonist. It was really weird because I'd been writing it for years and years. But I changed the name mostly because I met a Lance that I didn't really care for. That's irregardless of it being a porn name. I mean, plans. But, um, man, I'm telling you my history. Here, I, I wrote these weekly reports, loosely paper. I just put them in a shoebox. And sometime when I was in high school, I started getting them together. And I put them in kind of an order. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a, it wasn't a novel yet. It was just a bunch of little short stories all together. Um, so I put them in a binder kind of in, in order, but, you know, if they'd be in order, and, um, it was great, then I got the idea, I'm gonna turn this into a book, so I started actually writing, well, typing, it was on the old school dinosaur computer that we had, it had Norton Extra, if you've ever heard of that, it was, it was before Windows came out, even, it was a, a DOS program called Norton Extra, and I was, I was typing, I typed, um, uh, I must. I typed about uh, 80 or 90 pages. Uh, put them in a binder, and I gave them to my friend Leaper to read in high school. I don't know if he ever actually gave it back. Not you know. I mean, but so maybe he disposed of. Maybe he's got it on a shelf somewhere. Maybe I'll meet him and he'll say, "Look, I got your book. I've had it all this time." I don't know, but okay. That that's the start of the history. But again, that only counts for some of the years. I, I've had this story for a long time. See, what had happened is I've never gotten to the end of it. I've never written all the way to the end. I wrote 
a lot, then my computer crashed. And I rewrote a lot, my computer crashed. And I think that happened three times where the computer that I was working on just stopped working. And um, like I said, 10 years ago or so, I changed the name of, tech of the protagonist. And that changed a lot. Um, but not everything, because he's still the same guy. Um, he has grown up with me. Um, not, not chronologically, because in this story, it only covers like mm, a year. 18 months the most. I haven't really done a timeline of it. but it, So it doesn't cover that much time. But when I first was writing it, he was just a teenager cool older teenager and then like in college he was in his 20s and then a little bit older 30 something and that's where he stays now it's 30 something in my mind I mean I'm I'm not gonna make him old until until he actually you know chronologically gets old stuff you know happens but but what else what what aged is um also, when I first started writing, it was about being flashy, about being, you know, exciting action, get people involved, and all that. And then it, a little bit more drama has come into my life, so I've written a little bit more. And as he's gotten older, he's now a, a daddy figure. Um, he actually adopts a couple kids. Um, and in one of the later books in the series, he has his own children. Um, so it, it's, he has, he's grown up. In a way, grown up. I'm going to stop this. Then I'm going to do two.